Hi, this is Yanni. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to use the map function. So here we have an action, and when we look into the event, I see this to JSON. There is email, name, and IP, and maybe I don't need all of these values as my story progresses, and I just need to extract just one of these values, right? Just name or just email. So I'm going to grab an event transform, connect it from my previous action. And what I'm going to do here is change this to formula over on the right hand side. And I am going to swap this from this is an automatically message message generated from times. And it's going to be webhook action dot body dot JSON, which is going to be that entire JSON payload, which is just a array. And at the beginning of it, I'm going to write the word map. I'm going to click on map. Now map requires an array of objects, which is essentially a list. And it's going to ask us what property that we want to look at or look for. So I'm going to do comma. And then in quotes, I'm going to write the word email. And now you'll notice in the result, it is just a bunch of emails, which is great. Now what I want to do next is make sure that this runs successfully. So since this was a webhook, I'm going to go to the three dots and re-emit. And now let's look at this event transform. Ah looks perfect so it's just the emails and it doesn't say anything else this is a great way to extract just a bit of data from an array so you don't have to go through and use a bunch of triggers and do a bunch of other things it's just a quick pull from an array i hope you found this helpful and we look forward to seeing you next time